Hello everybody. Welcome again to another session on one question a day development of tooth. The question that we are going to discuss is on histo differentiation and morpho differentiation of ameloblast or histo histo morpho differentiation. A single question. The tooth development is divided into two types. One that is based on the morphology like cap uh, bud cap early bell late bell and root formation the other is the histophysiological where the function or the process is considered and histomorpho differentiation comes under this category this is initiation proliferation histo differentiation morpho differentiation opposition right so this basic has to be followed in the initiation the dental lamina and the tooth bud formation happens the initiation is inducted requiring the interaction reciprocal interaction of ectomesenchyme with that of the odontogenic epithelium the inner enamel epithelium turns into the ameloblast in this process while the superficial layer of uh, dental papilla turns into odontoblast in this process if there is lack of initiation or induction there is absence of tooth formation if there is a defective or additional there is more than one tooth the stage of proliferation after the initiation there is proliferation so our initiation happens with the bud stage whereas proliferation is bud cap bell and odontogenic organ formation all this it involves regular changes in the size and perhaps partially to the structure of tooth cells it becomes bigger next is the histo differentiation which is a process where the cell acquires a particular structural and functional role it metamorphoses it loses its ability to divide and becomes more prominent the bell stage is an appropriate stage here it is at this stage where the outer layer of dental papilla turns into odontoblast and it is the stage where inner enamel epithelium differentiates into ameloblast this entire process where the inner enamel epithelium influences the underlying dental papillary cells to differentiate is called as into odontoblast and that lays down subsequently predentine and dentine which the dentine the first layer of dentine stimulates the inner enamel epithelium to turn into ameloblast and subsequently secrete enamel the dental papilla differentiates into odontoblast morpho differentiation here in this process where morphologically the size and shapes of the tooth change by differential growth so morpho differentiation happens with proliferation and histo differentiation with it is a interconnected intertwined orchestrated phenomenon this happens morpho differentiation is more prominent in advanced bell stage in morpho differentiation crown outline is determined dentino enamel junction and dentino cemental junction is traced and laid down and this stage gives the characteristic feature of each type of tooth and this stage is what we call technically as blueprint of tooth with this blueprint the ameloblast subsequently lays down the enamel in the shape desired odontoblast lays down the dentine and cementoblast lays down the cementum disturbance in morpho differentiation affects the form and size of tooth without affecting the enamel meaning it becomes haphazard the size and shape becomes abnormal but the quality is not compromised opposition is the process of deposition of hard matrix namely of the enamel and dentine and after the morpho differentiation enlargement the calcification is what happens in the opposition full form fulfillment of outline structures following histo morpho differentiation happens in opposition the regular synthesis and systematic or rhythmic deposition of extracellular matrix as well as subsequent calcification is 
directly related to this opposition stage. The clinical significance is enamel hypoplasia can happen. Amylogenesis imperfecta, osteogenesis imperfecta, deficiency, disturbance in morpho differentiation affecting the form and size of the tooth. Supplementary root, dilaceration, abnormal shaped tooth, all can happen in this stage. To recapitulate, the histomorpho differentiation, we talk about the various stages. We talk about which stage happens, what, what, the lack of initiation, induction, the proliferation, how it happens, what are the changes, and what happens in histo differentiation, the ability to divide, bell stage, ameloblast, reciprocal induction, how dental papilla is changed in this stage, morpho differentiation, how the crown outline, enamel, dentino enamel, dentino cemental blueprint, all these features has to be mentioned for this question. A position, you talk about the abnormalities and the normality process. And clinical significance, consider all these factors. So with this, we come to the end of the discussion on histomorpho differentiation, what to write, what to include in the exam essay preparation. Few diagrams would be helpful to identify. You must be aware, your staff must have taught what diagrams to add for histomorpho differentiation. If not, ask your teachers or your mentors. Thank you for watching this session on histomorpho differentiation in one question a day. Stay connected with this channel to learn more.